Hi, my name is Sam Sandoval. I'm a faculty and a cooperative extension specialist at the University of California, Davis. So, in this video, we're gonna uh, see how water moves into the ground. So, the main objective of, of this video is actually that you can see how water moves in the ground and also to learn some of the basic principles of groundwater hydrology, specifically Darcy's law. So, let's start with um, marking the water table on our model. Now for this portion I'm going to put some water here with dye so we can actually see how water moves um, uh, into, the, um, into the ground. first thing that you should notice is that water is moving uh, downwards but also notice that the water level is to start increasing in both directions in fact now the water table is start increasing in both sides so um, what is going on here um, the first thing is that water is moving in both directions as you can see here Water is moving actually in every direction, but <clears throat> it's moving faster on this side, on the right side than on the left side. How is that happening? So there is actually a um, there is something that is called a gradient. So a gradient is the slope of the water, the difference and uh, the slope that has the water at that initial point. In this case, initially the water table was here and here. So the slope between these two points is <clears throat> is this one. Similarly, if we draw the slope of this initial condition with this initial condition, it will be something along these lines. So, as you can see, for this, uh, this slope was a steeper than this other slope. That's why water was moving faster on one, on the right side compared to the left side. This will be something similar if I pour water on this table. I mean, if it is level out, water will stay there. But as I am tilting the table, the water will start moving. As I tilt it um, higher, water will start moving faster. It is the same principle in groundwater. In this case, water will move faster where the gradient, where the slope is steeper than in this other part. So, for this case, what we have as a gradient is that the rise over the run, the rise over the run, this is called slope or hydraulic gradient. So that is the first principle. Um, the second principle relates of how water moves faster or, or slower. It does depend on what is the type of soil, what is the type of material that the water is moving, passing through it. In this case, <clears throat> this depends on the type of, of soil, as I mentioned, and the porosity of the soil. Um, the larger the porosity, water will move faster throughout those pores. If the soil is a little bit more compacted, then water will have a hard time moving around all those soil particles. That is called hydraulic conductivity. If you multiply these two, we'll have actually a velocity that is called a small q. This, what you're seeing here, is Darcy's law. So Darcy's law was <clears throat> a scientist that figured out that depending on the type of material, the type of soil, and this, how steep was this uh, gradient, it was how uh, water moved faster or slower throughout 
in this case, the soil, the porous media. Um, <clears throat> so just to um, summarize again, we saw how water moves into the ground. It moves from a higher water table or a higher elevation to a lower elevation. Depending on how this gradient, what is the slope of these different <clears throat> uh, gradients, it will move faster or it will move slower. And that also the water movement depends on the type of soil. The more porosity it will move faster and having less porous space, it will move slower. That, those two principles, the slope or hydraulic gradient and the type of soil or the hydraulic conductivity is the main principle of that system. Um, stay tuned, thank you.